So first I'm gonna start off with makeup. Some face brushes, a eyebrow pencil, some thread for hair removal, my beauty blender, some face powder, and a contour kit. I also have bobby pins, cotton buds, and some hair ties in the bag. I've and of course my toothbrush and that's it. I'm not wearing any ma eye makeup because I am wearing eyelash extensions. Okay, next is the toiletries, which have to be under 100ml in a clear bag. So I just got this one from Boots. It comes with refillable pots. So I'm just going to put some shampoo in one and so that I don't have to buy the mini ones. And I'm also going to put some aloe vera gel in another. That's for any spots that I get or rashes, sunburn or insect bites. And I'm also going to fill a cap with some toothpaste so that I don't have to bother buying a small one. And here's some little shower gel, some deodorant under 100ml, some sun cream under 100ml, my foundation and my concealer, some eyebrow gel, a little perfume, a face oil that I use as my moisturiser, and a lip balm, and my favourite nude lipstick and a red lipstick just in case I go fancy for a day and then it's just a matter of trying to fit it in to the bag which has to be 20 by 20 only or you can get one of those sandwich bags that they give away for free at the airport to the suitcase so the suitcase is of the average size of 56 by something by something um, but obviously check with your airline what size you are allowed but this is the average and I'm gonna start with some shoes I've got some heels some sliders and my van I'm gonna put that in a bag and for clothes I've got a uh, two t-shirt two cami tops for if it gets extremely hot a cord so like a skirt and crop top and two dresses one like fitted and one loose for bottoms I've got a denim short and a jersey short and of course some pajamas about nine outfits for the whole week which I probably won't even use and sometimes I'll rewear stuff as well so I'll pack my bikini in a little bag for some socks some underwear, my makeup remover, and some shower gel gloves. And I also like to pack a first aid kit. It just has your usual like bandages, um, some electrolyte powders, Lemsip, and some plasters. Because I tend to, whenever I go on holiday, do a lot of hiking or physical activity where the hospital isn't always near. So it's just better to carry a first aid kit. And of course I've got a selfie stick and the makeup bag that I showed earlier. I also like to pack a towel and of course a hairbrush. So that is pretty much it. I still have loads of space in my suitcase and then I'll just lock it up and if I want to add more later, sometimes I do. I like to open my suitcase once I'm at the airport so everything else will go in this tiny bag because you're going to have to take all your electricals out anyway when you get to the airport. So I'm putting my straightener in. If you are traveling from certain countries like Turkey or Saudi Arabia, you cannot put a straightener in that is this big. You only put in things like under 16 centimeters in your hand luggage, otherwise you have to put it in the hold luggage. Of course, a camera and its charger, my keys and a mirror, my phone charger and an adapter, and of course the toiletry bag that I showed earlier. And of course, I can't forget my purse. So yeah, it's quite a tight fit. But like I said, I can't carry too much weight on my shoulders, so i got to keep it small. I have my passport and my phone just on my person, normally in a pocket or on my hands, and any travel documents. For my outfit, I usually wear to the airport a denim jacket with some leggings, because it's always cold on the planes, a top, and some trainers. And that's a whole other outfit as well. And I'll see you later, going on holiday, bye!